Hello everybody and welcome to another gaming video. In today's video I'm taking a look at a rather fancy game for the Xbox named Crayola Scoot. I'm going to quickly flick through some of the in-game settings. It's a very fun, very addictive game. I liken it very much to Jet Set Radio on the Dreamcast. You can customise your player. Obviously this game does bear a striking resemblance to Splatoon as well, but that's definitely not a bad thing. Right, uh, I think it was Ben's rubbish there. Ben Spectacles was too long, unfortunately, too many letters. Uh, here's a basic tutorial at the beginning of the game teaching you how to do various tricks and stunts and what's the general gist of the game. Uh, once I've completed those tutorials, I'll be able to go through and have some of the matches as well. My son's already been playing this and he is much, much better than me, but it's a very fun game and it's a great game to play multiplayer on as well. Uh, the animation on this, I think, which really reminds me of Jet Set Radio, and it's definitely got that kind of dreamcasty, crazy taxi vibe about it as well. Uh, now, I'm going to stop talking and try and complete some of this tutorial. After just riding around, we have to do various different jumps, and then we have to apply our paint. There, we get to ride backwards through our own paint as well, and basically that replenishes our paint pots. Uh, the more red, for example, that I have, the more red covering the playground, then the more I can absorb. And uh, yeah, it's a good way to fill up that tank, uh, especially when you're in your multiplayer mode as well. Just a matter of kind of building up the paint, building up the points, trying. I don't know. <laughs> My son made this look so easy. He did it each one first time and uh, he puts me to shame. Uh, I'm a little bit rusty at games. Uh, it's my Xbox, but uh, my son has definitely uh, made his claim on it. He's on there uh, most of the time gaming and he's not out being healthy. I don't get a chance to go on here much at all. Uh, this is definitely a family game, one that we can all take in turns. Uh, my youngest loves it as well because it's bright and colourful. Like, oh, daddy, go on the bikes, go on the bikes. <laughs> Woohoo, did you see that? Mad skills. Full on Tony Hawk or Matt Hoffman PlayStation now where we get to grind our way around the park doing various different stunts and jumps. And combining them all together into combos. Now these are key, if you jump on these things they cover the part in your colour. There's normally a couple of them and once you've got all of them you can absolutely annihilate your competition.
Right, I'm now about to get the last trigger just so I can show you exactly what happens. Painting the town red. Now let's go into the game and compete against others. Right, the idea is just to cover more of the park in our colour than the opposition uh, each round is two minutes. And I need to cover as much in red. <laughs> if I don't crash, I don't lose. Oh, it makes this look so easy. Um, yeah, I just need to cover as much in red as possible. I'm still first. I'm still first. I can still do this. And it looks like blue is close behind me. Uh, it's definitely a fun family game. So it's bad. Even the wife crew. <laughs> I think this is the first kind of venture into gaming that Crayola have done. I can see why they've done what they've done. This ticks a lot of boxes in relation to the products they deliver, being pens, pencils and crayons, etc. This uh, has definitely got some sort of uh, vibrant colour to it. Uh, definitely, definitely a keeper. It's one of those games you can just compete against your friends in as well if you're waiting for the seasons to change and something like Forza. <laughs> you don't want to play through winter, you can just go on this game and uh, waste a week or two. It's something you just pick up as you do more levels you do, the more points you get. Uh, I'll show my son's gameplay after I finish this. Uh, he manages to unlock various different features. He's definitely ahead of me, but uh, I will catch him up there <laughs> when I get a chance to go on my home Xbox. Four, three, two, one. I won! <laughs> I still fell off. There we go. I covered more part than the opposition. So 29%. That's not bad. Not bad for a first time rookie. Right, this footage is actually my son's, it's pre-recorded, so I'm just voicing over it as it goes. As you can see from his character, he's already started to modify him, he's gone to the store. I keep wanting to call this Splatoon because it's so similar with those vibrant colours. Uh, I was actually surprised that he went with the red hair though, my son absolutely loves having blue and purple hair in his game characters. Uh, if you may, I mean I've noticed by now as well, there's a watermark at the top of this video, it's sammy.com, that is his YouTube channel. He's only got 70 odd subscribers, but that's 70 more than he would have if he didn't do his YouTube. Just return to the plaza then. Uh, he goes to various different levels. Uh, he really does put me to shame. Oh, this is a nice level. I love that purple. Very bright. Uh, this looks incredible on a 4K TV. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it looks good on 720 and 4K TV. <laughs> Those colours are pristine. See, that's what he's doing. He's jumping on those pads and he is laying his colour. I'm glad I'm not the only one that falls over. I shall be bringing that up with him. He often laughs at me when uh, I was doing the practice run. He was watching uh, from the wings and he found it hilarious uh, how amateurish I was. Uh, okay, yeah, he is absolutely annihilating the competition and putting me to shame. Oh, it's fun. Uh, I love how he's just jumping there as well, just doing that stomp. 
color. Uh, as you can see, he does fill up as he goes over the red, but if you land on the opposition's paint, it has the reverse effect to your paint pot as well. Not what you want to do. You do not want to land in their paint and zap all of your paint out of your scooter. Why scooters? Why scooters? I suppose uh, rollerblades, etc., have all been done, so why not? Take the micro scooter approach. Yeah, we have a micro scooter. We used to have one as a kid as well. We used to go to the skate park. Yeah. And then we used to have tubs of paint online though, unfortunately. God, he is putting me to shame. Looking out some amazing jumps. I see the bigger the air, the more paint you can distribute. Points win prizes. And that's the big those points. You can buy these updates, upgrades, and changes to the character. Like any game these days, there's all different sorts of XP points and things you can unlock. This is a multi platform game as well, so it's not just locked to the Nintendo like Splatoon is. This is multi platform and fun and accessible. Highly. Highly addictive. Love the vibrance of this game. Now, of course, you're not limited to just this kind of skate park, uh, splatoonish style. There's also various different games. This is Splat Tag Chase. I think uh, the kind of name says it all. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, we are green this time. Uh, he will be happy. <laughs> Uh, this basically is a similar sort of thing, but uh, you are a pair and you have to tag. Uh, he prefers this game to the other game. Uh, he said this one's kind of more fun, uh, it's more challenging rather than just slapping around. Uh, it's kind of a game of cat and mouse, and you have to chase the other ones. Uh, you can't really hide. It's just a big game of avoidance. I kind of hope that your partner does a good job. <laughs> so, well, now we haven't uh, played this split screen yet, so we've actually played within the family. Uh, we played uh, on two different consoles. Uh, one that's uh, my nephew's, and uh, obviously the one here. So we can play with other people in our world. Uh, but uh, I don't know how this would pair up split screen, but I imagine it would be pretty good. Uh, you're not gaining or losing much, uh, kind of narrowing your field of vision. Uh, as long as you can see your character and the immediate surroundings, I think it will be absolutely fine. Uh, anyway, we are going to leave you with this big, vibrant display of colour. Thank you all for checking this game out. It's highly recommended. If you'd like to find us on Xbox, Sammy is Sammy.com. I am Whiny Pluto. Links in the description below. Until next time, from the Clickrumps household and Crayola Scoot, ah, good. Bye.